hello everybody welcome to linux self tutorial today i am going to show how to block or disable particular packages for updating and installing using yum command and other options let me see how to do this now first i am going to block or disable the particular packages in permanently let me see how to do this open the configuration file which was presented in etc yum.conf hit enter now here yeah, the configuration file was opened come to this this distro package which was presented at the end now here add exclude option Now type which package if you want to block for installation and upgradation. I am going to type httpd and terminator package. So if you want to add single package means you can add single package. If you want to add multiple means you can choose multiple package also. So after done this setting save and quit this editor tool. Now next step I am going to check the process. I am going to upgrade HTTPD using m update HTTPD. Let me see what the result will become after blocked. So after checking all the process it will be shows no packages marked for update. So it will be blocked that HTTPD package successfully. So this is the method to block the particular packages for upgrading or installing in permanently. So this is for upgrading. I am going to test for that installation package. So now I am going to install that blocked package terminator editor tool. After enter this command hit enter now. Let me see what it happened. So now the result will be shows again shows no package terminator available and nothing to do. So it will be successfully blocked for installing and upgrading in permanently. You can remove the explode option these two commands and again execute the same command for upgradation and installation. It will be works. It will be install and upgrade. So in this concept it will be blocked that two packages will be successful in first method we saw block the particular packages for uh, installing and upgrading in permanently in second method i am going to show how to block the particular packages in second method i am going to show how to block that particular packages for installing and upgrading in temporarily let we see how to do this so this is the command i am going to use this time m command use exclude option and which package if you want to block i am going to use vim editor tool what is the purpose if you want to upgrade or uh, install so i am going to upgrade i am going to block the upgrade of this vim editor tool if you want to add multiple package means you can add here multiple package now same procedure to block install also in the, at the end you should replace install instead of update so after enter this command hit enter here exclude option is mentioned here you can use iphone x also so both are same operation so here exclude option will be added here you can use iphone x option also both are same so after enter this command hit enter now it will be it takes little bit of time now the process will be successfully done now the next step i am going to upgrade that vim editor which was excluded we see the result what it will be shows yum update vim so hit enter after enter this command So see the result will be shows no packages marked for update. So it will be 
blocked successfully. This is the method for blocking particular packages or multiple packages for installing and upgrading, updating properly. Now the next method is disabling package updates and installation using repository. So first you should go to the following path. So once you enter this path, list the path now. After listing this uh, repository directory, here lot of repository will be placed. Choose the particular repo which you want to block. I am going to choose uh, e epl repo. Apple dot repo. So open that repo list. So come to this line gpkg. I press insert and hit enter now and create exclude all here and type which package if you want to block based on epl i am going to block agent t so after done this settings save and quit this uh, configuration file if you want to add multiple file means if you want to add multiple package means you can add here I am going to add this agent after done this setting save and quit this editor so now the settings was successfully done I am going to update that agent let me see what the result will be shows so enter the command to update the agent after enter this command hit enter now So the result will be shows no packages marked for update. So that uh, agent package will be successfully blocked for updation process. So this is the another way to block the packages for installing or updating. Now next I am going to disabling package updating by using version lock. So first you should install the yum version lock package. This is the command to install yum version lock package. After enter this command hit enter now. Now press y to continue. Now the version lock package will be installed. The purpose of version lock will be block the particular package will be based on versions. If you want to upgrade that package into uh, latest version means it will be not accepted by using this version lock. Let me see how it works. So this is the procedure to add that particular package into that version lock. So I am going to add that Samba package into version lock. So after enter this command hit enter now. So now the version Samba will be successfully added to the version lock with the current version. So here the status will be shows on one file will be added if you want to add another package means it will be shows like two if you want to check the particular package will be added into version lock means run the following command so this is the command after enter this command hit enter now so share your version samba will be successfully added into version lock with current version now I am trying to upgrade that Samba. So I entered the update command for Samba. Let me see the result what will become. See here, no packages marked for update. So the Samba package will be blocked successfully. So this is the another way to block particular packages for upgrading and installation process. That's all about this tutorial. Let me see you on another video. Thank you for watching.